Hey, hey, good morning to you guys once again. You know, last time we saw you, I was wondering out loud about how that car could have been parked over here that whole time. And yes, it was parked there the entire time this water main break was going on. The water broke, it flooded, it receded, they fixed the pipe, and the car was still there. So this morning, in order to do the cleanup, the complete cleanup, they got to get that car out of there. So whoever's car that is, uh, yeah, maybe somebody knows uh, the guy who owns it or the woman who owns it. Uh, there it goes. And it's going to be safely tucked away in your local, you know, scrapyard or whatever it is, tow truck. Road One is is the name of the company. So whoever's car that is, go pick it up at Road One. As you can see uh, right behind there, underneath the water tower, the city's uh, big, huge vacuum truck right there. They came in and they're cleaning up the curb and they're doing high pressure washing with the uh, water of course trying to get all the mud off of the sidewalk starting on the park side because of course there's a lot of people in the park um, so that is what's going on this morning once they get that car out of here they'll probably bring in some of the you know some of the asphalt and sort of pave over it and hopefully get this uh, get this road opened up um, there's a police officer right there and he is along with one of the supervisors from the city I just asked the supervisor you know you, do you have a time frame for when you're gonna open this up and he said not really because, you know, we're not quite sure. So hopefully maybe by the end of the day, maybe over the weekend, but uh, the people around here are waking up uh, to a totally different thing. Obviously, the cleanup operation is underway. Yesterday at this time, it was under a foot, two feet. Some people had three feet of water. I think we have some pictures from that from yesterday that are so impressive. I mean, to see this amount of water coming down the streets of North Park is just mind-blowing. And obviously, if you live here, it's even more mind-blowing because that water came into your basements into your garages and all kinds of things going on um, where, with the flooding and things like that so everybody's sort of taking a you know taking an inventory here this morning and trying to figure out exactly where to go from here a lot of insurance claims will be filed obviously uh, and things like that so let's listen to a couple of people um, you know right in the middle of the flood yesterday morning and their reaction to what was happening it was flooded up maybe three feet of water, like up to the top step of the house. Like our garage is under two and a half feet of water. All the music equipment, baby stuff, furniture, um, the yards were flooded. At least with a hurricane you can prepare, but this is, I woke up and I heard it and I thought it was raining. I looked out and it was just all flooded, so it's really crazy. I woke up and it literally sounded like storm surge, so it was just flowing past my window, probably like almost a foot and a half high. Um, and I ran out here and the entire, this was all full with water, probably like a foot and a half up. Uh, the stairs were covered and the front apartments were all completely flooded. So it's pretty crazy. <laughs> Hold on a second. All right, you guys, we are back live here, and I just saw a group of people that were walking. You can, they don't want to talk, but you can show them. They're very beautiful people. Look at them. Oh, look at that family. Good morning. How's it going? Now, let me tell you, I walked up to them. Look at that cool dog. He's like, what's going on here? There's mud on my feet. Where's my socks? Where's my socks? Anyway, so uh, these folks were walking across the park and having a good morning, and I said, hey, you guys want to talk to us? They said, about what? I said, wait a minute. You didn't even know this happened? No. What's going on? I mean, I see a huge hole, but I don't see anything. Right. So this whole area was underwater yesterday at this time. There was a water main break, and the actual pipe is over there on the side of the road that has a huge hole in it, and this whole place was flooded. Did you escape the whole thing? <laughs> yeah, we were two blocks away, but we didn't even know it happened. So <laughs> oh my God. I guess we're lucky. I don't I know. I guess you are lucky. <laughs> What's your name? Evan Beckerman. Evan Beckerman. Yes. Right on. Thank and you. And so how do you like living in North Park? It's amazing. It's yeah. great. As long as we're not underwater, we're good. <laughs> <laughs> Very good, Evan. Thanks a lot, buddy. Right, I do appreciate it. Thanks a lot. Good morning. Happy Friday. Happy Friday to you guys. There they go, walking the dog. What a lovely family. Here in North Park, thing, it's just such a great little neighborhood, you guys. You know, it just really is. Now, Scotty, come over here, and I'll show you another thing. And it looks as if, I don't think these are city crews, but go toward the park over here, Scotty, as you can see this little playground. And I noticed that there was people, a bunch of people, uh, they had brooms. And look, it's just like, I don't think these are city workers. Maybe they are. They look like they're just people who live around here, and they're just taking the bull by the horns and cleaning up the stuff themselves. I'm sure that, you know, everybody brings their kids. Everybody who lives in this area brings their kids to this park, and it's a very, very popular park. Softball fields, of course, are to the left. The Ted Williams Field, appropriately named after Big Ted. Uh, but it looks like everybody's pitching in over here. Now, Scott, come with me, and let's take a look at these fields, because yesterday when we got the aerial shots of these softball fields, Scott, um, it was completely underwater. And, by the way, these are 
of the same fields they had to redo just a year ago when the very same thing happened, only the pipe was bigger. It was a 30-inch pipe that last time, you guys. This time, it was a 24-inch pipe, but all of them about 80 years old. We understand they were put in, you know, in the 1930s, maybe early 30s. But uh, take a look at the softball field. Hopefully, they don't have to do that much work. As you can see, there's some dirt that's been moved around. There's some little river channels and things like that, but it looks as if the grass hopefully will survive, and it looks as if they maybe they just have to sort of, you know, move some dirt around, and they're back in business over here because I'm sure there's some games scheduled for tonight. And wouldn't that be nice if they could do that? Anyway, so it looks like the damage to the fields is not as bad as it was the last time, and that is really, really good news because it costs a lot of money to redo these fields the last time that this happened. So this is what's going on here in North Park here this morning. The big-time cleanup is underway, and we're going to be out here all morning talking to people who do and don't know about what happened here yesterday. Can you believe it? These guys were two blocks away, and they had no clue, no idea. If this that's was happening. not a, if right that's around not the corner. A, an advertisement for watching your local news station, right. I don't know what it is. No TV, no radio, <laughs> no social media. But you know what's cool, Dan, is I'm glad to see him getting that baseball diamond back because that is named after the legendary yeah. Ted Williams, who played there as a kid when he lived on Utah Street, just a couple blocks away. Yes. Yeah. That's great yes, to see. Yes, appropriately named for Big Ted. Yep. I did not know that he was raised on Utah Street, but yes. that is impressive. Yes. Because my son currently lives right over on Utah Street, which is just a block away, by the way. It goes Idaho, Utah. And uh, so, holy cow, we're going to have to do some research on the Ted Williams. And find out where he lived, and we'll go hang out. We'll go take a picture of his house. But, yes, the Ted Williams fields looks like they survived. You know, at least they're not as bad as they were the last time around when this place flooded because it was really nasty. They had to come in and redo the whole darn thing. So, But it looks like if they could just, you know, get a couple of rakes out here and move some dirt around, they might be back in business here at Ted Williams, you guys. Yeah. yeah. All right. Oh, Teddy. Bit of good news. <laughs> Thank you, Dan. Thanks, Dan.